The consequences of another missile attack against Ukraine continues all day. Again, there have been emergency power outages in addition to planned ones. As of now, more than 10 million Ukrainians are without electricity. Human rights investigators have shared footage of what's believed to be a torture chamber used by Russian forces in the recently liberated Kherson region. The video includes images of a small room where up to 25 people were being detained at the same time. With the details, here's Oliver Ferry. Alesha and Vitaly are still traumatised by their ordeal at the hands of Russian occupiers who detained them for 10 days in their native Kherson and subjected them to torture. We were tied up and brought to Kursan. There were 12 other people, some of whom had been there for a month. They hit me in the kidneys. They punched me in the face until my nose bled. Sometimes they would give us electric shocks or threaten us with guns. They even threatened to make us walk through a minefield. Kherson bears the scars of this regime of terror one week after its liberation by the Ukrainian military. This detention centre is one of 11 identified by authorities. Those detained here experienced violence on a daily basis. I saw people held prisoner blindfolded or with bags over their heads. They were kept here and interrogated. Everyone tried to endure that as best they could. Ukrainian forces say they have uncovered more than 430 cases of war crimes in the region, more than in any other part of the country during the nine-month war. Another